like his man cave. You know, he collects this stuff, and there's so many guys and, and gals out there, for that matter, that do this. They collect this stuff, they have it around all the time, and, you know, it's just fun. So we just landed in uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota, which um, is not Sioux City, Iowa, which is where I thought I was going. Uh, I don't know what happened with uh, me and Margaret or Daphne or whoever made the reservations, but uh, now we have about a 90 minute drive to get to actually where we need to go in Iowa. And we got to make this deal happen. And then we have a 90 minute drive to Omaha, Nebraska to get back to uh, Dallas. So we're gonna cover three states, buy two Mustangs, and uh, my boys from Mopars 5150 just called me because they see that I'm on my way up here and they're like dropping off some Mopars or doing something uh, somewhere around the area. So maybe we'll meet up with them and have a cold beer and see what's up because car finders are out there everywhere, every day, and that's what I'm doing. So here we are in Kins Kinsley, I think, uh, and Jim called me a while back about some Mustangs and uh, we kind of have an approximate deal, but uh, here we are to try to seal it up and see what happens. What's going on? Are you Jim? He's Tim and I'm Travis. Tim? Tim Mark. And Travis. Yeah, I was the one that got a hold of you first. Okay, right on, right on. Wow, you know, this is astoundingly clean building for what I'm used to finding when I, <laughs> when I go car hunting. Uh, this is... Uh, very nice to see everything out where we can see it. So, uh, what's the story you did? Tell me what happened. How'd you get these cars? Uh, my wife worked for a dentist for 25 years. Okay. He was an avid Mustang guru, him and his boy. Um, had Mustangs for years and years and years. They actually owned these cars since like 86, 87. My wife was involved with this particular car. He talked about getting rid of it years and years and years. Never did, never did. He passed away about two years ago. These cars were in Mobile, Iowa, eight miles south of here. Mobile? Yes. Okay. And uh, they wanted to get rid of the estate, clean the, clean the uh, estate up in the garage. The son called my wife. We ended up taking the both vehicle, bought both vehicles to make sure they go to a place where they're supposed to be. How long do you have? I've only had the cars about four months. Okay. And yeah. me and you talked about a couple months ago? Yeah. My, uh, it's, this is a yeah. not an easy place to get to, guys. I know. I mean, you are about 90 miles from anywhere that you want to be going somewhere <laughs> and uh, what have you. But, uh, all right, well, let's talk about the 70 first. Have you done any checking to see if this number's matching on the motors or anything? I have not. Because uh, it looks like he was kind of hot rodding them a little bit, but not anything more than making them roadworthy and ready to rock and roll. This car does run and ride and drive. I mean, we started when we backed it off the trailer. All new suspension, everything yes. there. And this one's a four speed. Yeah, this one. Wow. Kind of a cool color combo. Light blue, but a four speed is definitely uh, better than an automatic. Did the guy you get them from, did he like to do the work or was he they, having the work? No, they did all the work themselves. So they were doing the work? Yes. I think the only thing that uh, Doc Clark did not do was the machine work for motors. Otherwise, they did everything. Now, the other one is a 68. Now, does it designate as a GT? Yes. All right. You know, if my buddy Dennis was here, he would give us about a four Every hour lecture <laughs> of what all these numbers mean. Yeah. And uh, I usually don't do that. I just kind of look at the card and decide <laughs> if I like it. <laughs> I know it's disc brake, automatic. A little bit of floorboard work. Neither cars are AC. This one's definitely had some floorboards. Is there any cool history about them? Being in this town or being around? I, I don't know a lot about it. Um, like I said, in all the, all the stock parts, my guess is they were just taking the parts because they wanted to redo it all brand new. These parts, these parts, I, I just don't understand because there's, like I said, there's no one else going up around. I'm not sure why he For up it. here, that's pretty good. Yeah. Like I said, I know this car was like 1986. It was in the... Because your guys' idea of rust up here is completely different than ours in yes. Texas. Yes. Up here, y'all say, oh, it's got a little rust in the quarter. <laughs> and down in Texas, we're like, there's no quarter on the car. <laughs> <laughs> Radiator, fenders, uh, plastic moldings. 
I mean, these most things, we've done so many of these things, it's, it's just about like putting Legos together. And uh, this is the motor for the Mustang? Yes, it's, it's all done. And uh, the boy did tell me that was started and run 100% south. Yes. If we were going to guess, we think most of the major parts are here, but little bits and pieces and grounds. I would, uh, I would almost guarantee everything is here. Yeah. He, uh, he told me, the son told me that everything was here when we loaded it. Yep. I mean, we, we went through everything. I, I would be surprised if there's anything missing. And did they got a good Iowa titles? Yep. Or? Yep. They're in the truck. Okay. No problem. That Bobcat looks badass. Yeah. yeah. I think I like him more than the Mustang. <laughs> he's mean as hell. So, if I was trying to buy both cars, because I like them both, and they are, well, this one's had some rust repair, but that one, that white car's nice. What does it take to do both? Drag all the parts, all the area. Yeah, that's the way I would, I would just use all those. Just everything done all with it today. Um, I guess I, I just wouldn't disclose that on camera. What? Is this a Dennis deal? Dennis never talks about it. Um, all right, well, let's go have a talk off camera. A few moments later. So uh, this guy called me about a month and a half ago, and it's the first time I've been able to make it up here. Uh, he's been nice enough to hold the cars for me, but I know he's got some other interested parties. But we got a 70 Mach 1 M code. We've got a 68 uh, Fastback uh, automatic car. They're both nice cars, but they're, you know, they're torn apart. They're in need of restoration but a lot of the hard work's been done. It looks like maybe um, just putting them together like a set of Legos, uh, but if we can get a deal done, uh, it's gonna be hard to get them shipped out of here was my problem because we're literally in the middle of nowhere, either Iowa or Nebraska or South Dakota. I don't know, we're in one of these states around here and uh, I'm gonna have to see about getting them shipped because flying in here was a bitch. All right, Tim. Um, I think we're there, but the biggest thing for me is going to be whether or not I can get these things loaded onto a trailer and get it all out of here. And uh, usually I come back uh, and make that happen, but uh, my buddies from Mopar literally just sold a couple of cars up here, dropped them off, and they saw that I was coming. So uh, I told them to head over here, and if I can make the right deal with them to ship them for me, then I think we can put it together. Sounds good. Cool. Let me go give them a holler and see what's up. Man, look at these guys rolling around. Four-door ramp trucks, trailers. I gotta up my game. Going down to the end, sir. How you doing, Richard? Doing good, man. Good to see you, brother. Guys just rolling around, dropping off cars, picking up cars. A little bit of that. We got a Charger 500 in the other one. Oh yeah? So, yeah, we like picked a, that up from 69, 70? 69 Charger 500 we picked up from Kellerman last night. Oh the, yeah. Because he's in Iowa, that's what we were out That's what I've been to Iowa for. I was trying to remember why I've been to Iowa and it was for the uh, Kane's bus. Yes, he sir. did the uh, Kellerman setup on it. Right on, what's up? You remember up? my son, Davis? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, Davis. How you guys doing? Look at that. Okay, that's a 68, this is this 70. This is a 70. This is actually a relatively rare car with the color combo. It's not painted originally white, it was originally um, a blue, a pastel blue, but with blue interior, man, what a stunner that would have been. Yeah, what color be. blue did they call it? It was pastel, pastel blue. Pastel blue, but it's almost like a white. If it's you look really at, like, light. if you Google pastel blue and see the color on a car, you're like, oh, that's white. But then when you get closer, it's like super faint, faint. I don't know blue. that I've ever heard of pastel blue. I never yeah, well, have either. Until they only built, they built 400 and... In that trim, they only built 400 built 446. I don't think that adds anything to it. <laughs> I've just never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's just neat. It looks like it adds considerable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we didn't mean to wreck your deal. <laughs> We're the home wrecker now. No, nah, man, no. Nah. So that's super cool. Hubcaps, trim rings. And that one's a GT. 68302 GT. That's a pretty cool car, too. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah J code. So it's got uh, the, the four barrel V8. Yep. Yeah, three or two. And, uh, But it's an automatic. Gulfstream Aqua, which most of it is. Yep. I've never heard of Pastel Blue. Neither have I. It's a cool color. Yeah. So and 70 right car. here was sold. Just up the street. Both of them. Yeah, well, the other, one, the came, other this one. one came from Ohio. This was so not far. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I don't know any part of this. This is this is Sophie's Super Bowls. This one. Ben Hur. Yeah, Super Bowls. Yeah. Ben Hur. Ben Hur. Wasn't that like a Super. movie or something? Yeah. <laughs> ben Hur Ford. Super Bowls. It was a movie, actually. That's very cool. So are all the parts? Oh, they're back there. Yeah, everything is here. Uh, Oh, they got boxes and boxes. They got boxes and boxes, but you know we're going to need 
gaskets and trims and nuts Typical and stuff. bolts and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Luckily, the Mustangs they make everything. Those are the first wheels I ever bought ever in my life. When I was 15 years old. Drag stars. Well, drag stars. Yeah. That's I funny think I've had a few sets. <laughs> yeah, I've had a few sets, but I, that's the very first one, so they're a little I'm out of box near, near out my of heart. heart. Back of a pickup truck at the car wash. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so neither cars have AC because they're from up here. But other than that, this is a true GT. Yeah, this is, yeah. This is a TAC clock power steering power brake car, GT. So it has some cool stuff. Disc brake. It was a nice car before they took it apart. Yeah, what? It looks yeah, like that I mean, stuff was in pretty good shape. Yeah, you, that stuff was, but it looks like we have some rust repair. Yeah, that, but I mean, like the doors and the fenders and the hood and everything looks like in excellent condition. Well, no, you really should look up close to them because they're not rusty at all. No. And like I was telling them, their idea of rust up here is completely different than ours. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, in California, if they have a bubble down at the bottom for us, it's they, 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 they start crying. I don't think they pass inspection if no. they have a rust bubble. <laughs> but these things are... They're dry. Super solid. Yeah, Super cool. dry. I, yeah. Like I said, I know he must have just wanted to start with fresh metal. And, yeah, and even the doors are still. I mean, it's got a little bit in the corner, but that's not worth that's changing, not the worth changing the door. And this, it's still got the tag on it. I mean, for ten bucks, I guess you'd pick up that door. I think that's a '67. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has all the. And the headlight buckets for them. The quarter extensions. Yeah, I think you're just going to have time wrestling up all the inner door panel or bolts yeah, and nuts. Back. We can just back like the trailer that. right up in here after so we load those, yeah, right? They have yeah. all that. Yeah. And it looks like you got a nice motor over here. That's supposed to be rebuilt and ready to rock and roll. Do y'all have enough room? Yeah, I mean, we got yeah. enough room. Because you can put, uh, we'll put these on, we'll, we'll probably take these fenders off or bolt them on. Uh -huh. And then we'll put them on, I think one of them was like laying off. I saw it just quickly. But we'll just make sure it's bolted on, and then we'll load these up, and then we'll put the rest of the parts in one of the trailers. Small collection of these. Yeah, Brian, Todd, Brian, Richard Rogers. Richard Rogers, man. How are you? How are you, How are you doing? Doing? Very good. Very cool. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just move in? <laughs> they all got stories. Brian's got them. They do. They do. Brian's got them. That's my first car right there. Really? Is it fleet line? Yep. That's awesome. You know, the first car we ever built as Gas Monkey Garage was a 52 fleet line. Every time I needed money, I sold it. And every time I had money, I bought it back. <laughs> and then I finally have it now forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've had it for about 10 years now. Grandmother offered it to all the grandkids and I was the last one and I was the one interested in the cars. So I took it and fixed it up and had it painted two weeks before I turned 16 and my wife went out. And my wife and I went out on our first date in it. July 20th, Saturday night. About the end of October, it was sitting in the middle of Main Street up here, and the guy got wound up down here at the bar and rear-ended it and turned it. He was headed north and turned it clear to the east. That's awesome, though. At least you got the story. <laughs> I've only had mine for about 20 years. I think he got me beat. <laughs> what is this? Is this the driver's ed? Yeah, driver's education, Le learning. Learning. This so is how you learn. No, there's no more. No more. Oh, okay. Like a simulator. Yes. Yeah. They, they did the old school they simulator. Did drivers, drivers it's like this is how you turn the lights on. This is how you shift. You know, three on the tree. Nineteen fifty gauges. Ford. Yeah. Yeah. This is cool. I haven't seen one in this condition in a long time. Did, did, when was the last time you had it working instead? Uh, last summer, I guess. That is really neat. So, that shuffleboard American shuffleboard company was the first ones out, and they made an actual. Actual 35 footer. That's the longest shovel board I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, they made 30, a few, couple of 35 footers and they figured out they wouldn't go in anywhere. <laughs> so then they cut them down to 28 foot and then they made them 22 foot regulation. And that's one of the that's one of the rare 28 footers there. So that's a 28, not 35. Right. Very cool. See, I've got so much of this stuff that I've been collecting too, but I haven't had a chance to really like put it out and hang it and make it work. I've just been buying for like 10 years. My sister thinks I'm crazy, but I'm like, do you know how much money they're gonna sell all this shit for when I'm dead? Where's <laughs> <laughs> Light and Miller Light in the refrigerator if you want any? I'm not gonna turn down a free beer, sir. <laughs> I would give you some garage beer, but we don't have it in this state yet. Yeah whatever state I'm in. Just next door to where uh, we just did the deal with the Mustangs is 
this gentleman that has like his man cave. You know, he collects this stuff and there's so many guys and, and gals out there for that matter that do this. They collect this stuff, they have it around all the time and you know, it's just fun. It, it's just, thank you, sir. Sorry, Garage Beer, but they don't have it here. That's colder than Texas. Well, it is, because it's Iowa. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Look at that one-hander. Nice. Is this a 52 also? 51. 51. Oh. No, you're fine. So cool. Well, bought it on our... On our uh, 20th anniversary. I tell you what, I'll double what you paid for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out on a limb and throw it out there. <laughs> Back then was probably what, 4,500? No, it's more not. That's pretty kind of, cool though. They kind of caught on. I've always wanted this body style convertible and I've never gotten one. And uh, they're starting to, to come back down a little bit. They got real high for a while. Now they're kind of medium. But uh, the split screen, you know, that's just so cool. Short bed's cool too. What's up with that? Big got, block, big block 402. Got the keystones on it. Yeah, I had keystones on my Comet. I missed one of these the other day on Facebook. Yeah. Original one from probably late 50s, early 60s. Somebody threw it on there and just said, old uh, light, 75 bucks. And I mean, I was all over. That guy said his phone blew up. And I was like, well, what do you want for it? He goes, some guy just offered me five grand, so I sold it. I said, well, dang it. Maybe you did one. <laughs> yeah. What's under here? 67. That's my sister's car. You and your sister you got, got the bubble taste. top, Richard. I'm coming. He's got a bubble top back here. <laughs> that is That's the one I'd take high. home. The bubble top. It's not mine. And I'm a Mopar guy. <laughs> but I didn't see any Mopars in here. What's what year's the ice cream uh, like? It looks a little bit modern. It's probably 80s. Yeah, that's uh, anyway. Yeah. God, Lee, see, you just never know. No, just right around the corner, in little bitty town, little bitty nowhere. Guy's got more cool shit than I do. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think you got me beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. 2010, 13,000 miles, 6 1. Brand new car. I can trim yeah. my sister on an automatic, so I got her a six speed trim. It. <laughs> she does better with that. Wow, that's a pretty car. And you can look at it like you put it in the back or you put it in the front. Yeah, yes. Yeah. There's the door to go out. So you know he's driving that That's one unbelievable. Wow. I mean, I haven't even seen the other side yet. And this is a 63 Buick? Uh, yeah, that's a Ruby Era. These cars, when they're dialed in, drive like just unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, they, they just float and they're fast and responsive. Is this a 2 4 car? No. No. This is my business card in the car. We need to call him and ask him if he wants to sell that. I can do that. 62. Oh, no, it is a one. one. It's it's a one. one. They only did a bubble top on a Bel Air in 62. Is this a factory black car? I'm not sure, Richard. It's uh, some guy that rents place for us. We need to ask him if that's for sale, too. There's something back here in the corner I want to show you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> He's messing around. I'm going to whoop out some cash in a minute. <laughs> Okay, what am I looking at? 70. I'm not a Ford guy, bud. Huh? I'm not a Ford guy. So we're looking at 70. Do you know anything about it? That's been in here for about 96 years. Nine or six years or 96 years? <laughs> 96 years. <laughs> it's got a little rust in it. Yeah. Is it a four speed? I think it is a four speed. What do you want for that? I don't know. I, I got to put a, I'm gonna put a loan or a lien on it and get a title for it. This guy can't pay for it, so. Ooh, here. I'd be interested for that. Oh, he put it in storage or something? Yeah, he put it in storage when he went back in 86. I don't think it's a boss or anything. Yeah. 
It would take a little bit of digging. Okay, so it's got some parts missing off of it. That's cool. Could be neat. Who knows? Yeah. You probably got like 3500 bucks laying there. Sure. Yeah, I got Griswold yeah. back there in the corner. You just about missed that, Richard. What's that? Yeah, Griswold back there in the corner. You just about missed that. Oh, you got to decorate it up and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. I got to show you. Oh, yeah. The yeah, I saw the top there. You got the old lady on top there. Oh, that's good. All the braids around. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Rip ink pen. So, what about the Evil Knievel? Because I had one, I sold it, and I should have had it. I'd sell it, Richard. What what kind of money are you thinking? I think the last one I sold that I had in the uh, collection that I didn't want to sell brought like four grand, 4200 So, how about four grand? Okay. Cool. All right, we got something bought. That's the first thing. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna have to send somebody special to get that because we'll have to take the top off and ship it correctly. Yeah. That might take me a few weeks, but I'll get it done. Uh, I wonder and this, this big bowling machine is really cool. I just where you at on that? I wouldn't even know, man. I, I wouldn't even know how to even yeah. guess. Well, why don't you think about it? Now? And then the yeah, and then the the giant shuffleboard is just crazy. Yeah. I don't know where I'd put I it. bought that years ago in St. Louis. Wanna, this cafe lot, how old is that? That's what we back Would you sell that? Because I'm open in a bar in Sturgis, that would be really cool. What are you thinking? I don't know, a couple grand? I mean, 200. <laughs> 25? Yeah, I can do that. Cool. That's going to Sturgis to my new bar. Good. That's rad. So you never really know what you're going to run into when you go to different garages and different places. And there's so many cool people that have just unbelievable collections of, of just different stuff. This guy's definitely got good taste in what he's collecting. But I mean, check this out. You got the Four Seasons, the Commodores, and Cindy Lauper. Yeah, I think I saw that movie. Super cool place. Absolutely. One day, my place will be this rad. Everything's just sitting on shelves right now. Thank you very much for showing us your place. Uh, we got a deal on the light and the Evil Knievel machine. And you're going to get back with me on the short bed truck and the Riviera and the bubble top. Cool. We'll do that. I'll come back with a whole swarm of trailers. Right. Or I can just buy the whole place right now. Maybe we'll work that deal for August, will you? All right, let's do it. So this is my favorite part. You guys get to do the work, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Well, y'all flying out in the morning, uh, and uh, I got to get out today, so I got a two-hour drive ahead of us. And we have a little bit of a drive back to Texas, so. Yep. Well, I it's thought like you got some other deals. Home. They are. Yeah. We're oh, the those two are. The yep. same airport you're flying out of. All right. Well, I'm hauling ass, and. Uh, gonna get back uh, we'll work out the mathematics if it's just a little quirky because they, they want to keep it quiet so we'll figure it out you got there. it yeah going no to a good home absolutely. and uh, happy hunting absolutely you too keep these us guys, hey keep us in mind these guys are we getting really it. good they're getting to cars before I do <laughs> not this one hey you didn't get to those cars from Dennis <laughs> did you <laughs> no. we had to get them after after Dennis got, got them a lot they go got the, the two Cuda, or the Cuda convertible and the and the uh, Challenger. Challenger. I know Dennis told me, and he told me so. Uh, super cool. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he said that the guy that built the green car, that was a satellite, that was a road runner, that sort of was something, wanted it back. So he said he sold that to that guy, and did well on awesome. it. So yeah. look at that. Everybody wins. Everybody's winning. Everybody. So like I said, always tell everybody. I answer every call, every email. I'm always on there. I might even answer you like four in the morning. But the deal is, is uh, I flew into. Iowa drove to South what we flew into South Dakota oh we flew into South Dakota drove to Iowa now we got to drive to Nebraska to try to get out of here uh, Mopar's 5150 was uh, on point when they saw that I was gonna be up here so uh, getting the cars loaded up getting gone and uh, we got two really badass Mustangs and then the guy next door like just a nondescript building has the coolest shit on the planet and I got a couple of things bought out of there. I'm pretty excited. But uh, I think I might end up with the short box truck and the Riviera. Those were both nice cars.